and this is a video to show you my PC setup but not as in my physical hardware PC setup but my PC setup for running Battlefield so this is going to be user config and the in-game settings so I'll get started with the user config file and this is what it looks like now do I know what most of these things do? no some of them are obviously forcing settings onto the game so there's vsync and post processing there which are set to zero which I assume means that no matter what you put in the options menu this setting file will overwrite and mean that those will never come on now the top line is a useful one perf overlay dot draw fps so that is the frame rate that you'll see in the top right hand corner of a lot of videos and that's the game displaying the frame rate not the recording software now user config file will be found in program files under origin games and in the battlefield 4 folder and it's called user.cfg or user config if you don't have one you simply go into notepad create that file and copy this text into it now I found this version of a user config file online by just putting in battlefield 4 user settings into Google and this is what came out and it's the one I've used for quite a while another line you can put in here will cap your frame rate so if you're running a 60 Hertz monitor and you're getting 120 frames you can cap it down to 60 if you want to but you'll just have to look that up on Google I'm running a 120 Hertz monitor and to be honest capping it to 120 is a bit pointless because it's often going to dip down below that and go above it so you might as well just leave it to Ooh, do its own thing and welcome so the next thing to look at are the in-game settings so I'm now going to flick over to a bit of video I recorded earlier today so I've just been playing around with my settings and because I reinstalled everything I've had to fiddle around with everything again so I thought I'd let you know what they are or what I currently got them set to while I'm messing around so drop the mouse sensitivity down a bit because it was a bit high even though it was only on 20 and I think that's the only thing I changed in there advanced options haven't changed anything in there either gameplay I don't think I changed any of that although I did change the minimap size to be bigger which just makes it easier for me to see audio haven't changed anything voice over IP is off I don't use it it's just annoying most of the time and here's the big one so for the graphics vsync is off so I'm using a 120 hertz monitor field of view is 90 I'm pretty sure that's what I had it at before but won't be able to tell until I get into the game motion blur is turned down it's not off it's just turned down and I think everything else is the same and you can see my graphic settings now these were pinched from it was either X Factor or Level Cap. Can't remember. One of them did a video on graphic settings. So it's on custom and basically texture quality, texture filtering, mesh quality, and terrain quality are all high because they're kind of the backbone of the world. But then things like lighting quality and effects quality, they're low. So all the lighting effects and explosion effects that tend to be a bit dazzling and a bit blurry that's what causes them if you turn them down they stop being as horrible and blurry and distracting post-processing quantity and terrain decoration are kind of prettification things so they make the game look a bit better but I'll turn them down to medium just because it improves the frame rate. Anti-aliasing is turned off, as is ambient occlusion. They just hog memory and graphics processing. And anti-aliasing post is on low. So that is yeah, the minimum it can be, but still have some. Now, there we've got 
Direct 3D 11. I am not using um, the AMD fancy thing, which I don't know what it's called now, Mantle. Not using Mantle, I've tried it several times and it's been a pain and I'm basically don't want to be beta testing the graphics API because with the problems that are in Battlefield 4 do you want a graphics API that's also having problems so you can't tell which one's which. Anyway, that's how I've currently got it set up and we shall see what it's like. And I will spawn in with just a basic assault loadout because it seems we're struggling. Ah. Right. Okay. Now that time, the mouse sensitivity <laughs> seems sluggish. And I've only changed it by a little bit. Okay. Let's spawn all the way back here and just test things out. It doesn't seem. Okay. Go to options, try pushing that back up to 20. Now that's the default, I think. But when I tried it before, it seemed really quick. No, I think that's right. I think it's just me being a bit... odd. Yes, I am using a night vision scope. And the reason for that is that I'm also using smoke grenades. And it seems like a pretty worthwhile combination to try. I'm capturing this point, but I don't... Ah, bugger. God, why is nobody else back there helping? You needed a couple of us. Anyway, that's my settings, that's my horrible gameplay. Look, we had it flashing, but no, they're all piddling around over there. Right, I'll take the LEV up onto the high road as usual and see what we can see. Come on, eat rockets. Yeah, that didn't go well. Come on, gun, reload. See if I can. Is that burning? Well, it was close. Okay, well, there's a quick look at my settings and how I set up Battlefield. Give you a rough idea of 
how I do it. Like I say, it's pretty much all stolen off other YouTube videos, but it seems to work out okay for me. So that's it. That's a quick look at my user config file and my Battlefield 4 settings. I know there are much more things you can put in the user config, but I like to keep it simple. So the FPS is the only thing that I really go in there and turn on and off. You put a 1 in if you want the FPS on, you put a 0 if you want the FPS off. And that's it. Now you can't really break anything by playing around with the user config or the Battlefield 4 settings. You can just delete the user config if your game stops working for any reason. And you can just reset the settings in the option menu. So feel free to play around, but that's the baseline that I use. Thanks for watching.